So the reason why I got into lifting is because I've watched movies with people who had great physiques and I've recently heard from multiple guys that this actually also was the reason why they started working out. Because of that I'm gonna show you how you can actually achieve those physiques of those actors and in this video I will talk about Jason Momoa in the movie Aquaman. I will firstly analyze his physique and tell you guys what we would have to focus on to achieve a similar physique to his. Then and also how long we would have to be consistent with our training to be able to look like this and what genetics are actually required to one day look like this. So I will give you the complete blueprint to chasing Mamoa's body in this video. So watch it till the end to actually benefit from it. Now when we look at Jason Mamoa, we right away see his upper body is extremely well developed. He has huge shoulders, a big chest and ab definition. And this is also right away the reason why most people think it's so difficult to actually achieve a physique like this. But I can tell you guys, when we compare Jason Mamoa's body to pro bodybuilders, even natural pro bodybuilders, then there would be no chance that he is winning a competition because he isn't conditioned enough. So his abs aren't visible enough. The reason why it seems like crazy he has this much muscle mass and is still relatively lean is because most people these days are just overweight and have nowhere near a six pack. But to actually get a six pack abs like his, you will probably only would have to diet down for two or three months and you will be there. Now the thing which will be a bit hard to achieve is actually his shoulder development. This is something which is definitely a highlight of his physique. Of course, this also has to do with his genetics. I think he naturally just has broad shoulders and didn't have to work too hard for them. But the thing is, the average guy doesn't have well developed shoulders. They would have to work really hard for it. And I'm someone who had the same problem, but I can say I finally was able to achieve pretty decent delts. And how I got there is by doing lateral raises the right way. I see so many guys in the gym doing lateral raises, which is a good thing, but they're doing them wrong and don't actually hit the muscle they want to hit. Because of that, their delts also don't grow. The best thing that you can do with lateral raises is to have constant tension on them. So never go all the way down. When we are down here, there isn't any tension on our delts. We can't go with our arm all the way down. We have to just train this range and always keep the tension here. This is how you actually exhaust this muscle and make it grow. And well, I personally would say Jason Mamua looks this big, especially his upper body, is because his shoulders are this wide. Because this gives off the illusion of overall just having a more muscular and bigger upper body. And then the next thing which is very well developed on Jason Mamoa's body is his chest. And for this we have to do some specific work on our upper chest. Many people just focus on their lower chest or do normal bench pressing and because of that their chest doesn't look full. If you really want pecs which are popping through your shirt and look this well developed as Jason Mamoa's, you will have to prioritize your upper chest and do incline bench pressing. I can guarantee you Jason Mamoa was also prioritizing incline bench press. I wouldn't even be surprised if he didn't do any normal bench pressing for this role. Perfect. Now as someone who is in the fitness industry and know everybody is talking about the legs because most people are skipping them. And for Jason Mamoa, I have to be honest with you guys, I'm not sure if he was training legs at all. I mean in the movie they aren't exposed that much. I only was able to get one behind the scenes picture with Jason Mamoa where we can see his legs. And yes he has some good calves, but it doesn't look trained, they just look big. And when we look at his belly, it doesn't look like he was in his best shape and nowhere near the prime where he was in his movie. So personally I would say Jason is more kind of the type who easily puts on weight and a lot of mass, but he struggles with getting lean and actually keeping the muscle. So what I would recommend you guys to do is still train your legs. I mean of course, training your legs will boost your testosterone and overall will give you a well balanced look. I know, even though Jason Mamoa isn't famous because of his legs, it's still important and it will help you to get faster to this end goal. Perfect. So now you're probably asking yourself how long do I have to train and be consistent with my diet and training to achieve a look like Jason Mamoa. 
Well, for this one, this totally depends on your genetics. Because personally think you don't need elite genetics to look like Jason Momoa. I mean, he personally probably doesn't have elite genetics. He just had a great coach for this movie and was eating right for a few months. And overall, just already had a good amount of muscle on his body before preparing for this role. So if you're someone who maybe already is training, but you aren't this lean or you don't have this much muscle mass, then I would say you should be able to achieve this physique in about 12 months. Of course, you could do it faster if you give it your all. If every meal is on point, you sleep 8 hours every night and do everything perfectly. But I would say for most people, it's better to take it a bit slower because then it's also more sustainable and you can actually be walking around like Jason Momoa all of the time if you approach it a bit slower. Now I still need to say and be honest with you guys, if you're someone who struggles to put on weight and maybe is lean all the time but doesn't pack a lot of muscle mass then you will struggle a bit more to look like Jason because his starting point already was a bigger version of himself he just had to cut down and develop a few muscles a bit better so if you're a skinny guy who is already lean then your full focus should be on putting on the mass. You should try to eat even a bit more food than you might be comfortable with. This is the way how you get there. Jason probably just naturally has a bigger appetite and his metabolism isn't as fast as yours. But this shouldn't be an excuse for you to not achieve his physique or even give it a try. Because I can tell you guys, I personally actually also was one of them. I've struggled to put on weight and actually build muscle mass. But now I can confidently say I was able to build a good amount of muscle and get a similar look to Jason Momoa's. Alright, and that's it. The complete blueprint to how you can achieve Jason Momoa's physique in the movie Aquaman. Now, if you found this video helpful, then I would appreciate it a lot if you would like and subscribe. And maybe also comment down below on which actor I should make a video on the next time. Then, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.